first got into music around 79, uh, 1980. Uh, just being aware of the pop charts, really, which there were sort of great bands around like UB40, The Specials, The Jam, even the pop acts like uh, Blondie, Soft Cell, and uh, it was kind of like a social political thing going on as well with the lyrics in a lot of the groups, sort of post punk bands. And uh, it just sort of made a big impression on me. Um, Black Star, I've got quite a few things actually. I've got a nice stool that I use in the studio, and uh, I use these amps. And uh, it's an Artisan 30, custom made white for me, hence the two tone sort of special vibe. I'm on tour with the specials at the moment. I've also got the, I think it's the HD5s with the head and speaker that I use for my solo gigs and the, the group called the Songbook Collective. I've got the One Watt amp, which I've sort of recorded solos with the Ocean Colour scene, which I thought was hilarious just to actually have a One Watt amp, you know. But it, the fact it kind of works and it's valve is, um, is really good. Uh, I've also been using the Core amp uh, by Blackstar, which is just an incredible, really small amp. It's kind of that size and uh, I thought it was kind of a mono speaker, but it's obviously a setup, set up in stereo, and um, just the effects that are used are really incredible. They've got a real, uh, there's a real depth to the delays that are going on. It sounds like it's coming from the next field or something. If I wasn't a musician, I don't know what I'd have done really. I'd have, I used to have a Saturday job working at Next, so maybe I'd have become uh, a tailor or something, a tinker or a tailor or prison, maybe. Around 13 years ago, I had a little studio room in Birmingham and they came to visit me with, I think it was the prototype of the Artisan 30. And it just made me want to change in that instant, really. Black Stamps are perfect for my sort of music because they're just great British valve amps. They're just very simple, it's a great design and they sound great, obviously. Yeah. I think it's difficult to advise people, really, beginners or starters or younger people, older people. I think if you want to do something, you'll do it. Because I think all the great guitar players, anyway, they're, not, they're all self-taught. You just have to have the smell of want, you know. You need to want to be able to do it, and then you will do it like anything in life. 